this episode, we're going to have a look at a background worker called Good Job. And with Good Job, we're able to send processes that don't need to happen on the foreground into a background worker. And with the background worker, we can process whatever information we need to without having to hold up the user. And one of the nice things about Good Job is that they do have a nice dashboard that you're able to see all of the different transactions that have gone on. And another really nice thing is that it comes built in with a cron scheduler. And there's also a couple of nice things about Good Job, which would make it a preference over Sidekick in certain situations. But the thing I like about Good Job is that it is a Postgres based background worker for Ruby on Rails. So the entire queue for the jobs are going to be stored within the database, similar to what you would find with Delayed Job. However, I found the implementation of Good Job is more robust and more performant than Delayed Job. However, I wouldn't recommend Good Job if you have a really large application because it is going to be slower than Sidekick or any kind of Redis based queue storage. However, for smaller applications or applications where I don't want a complicated infrastructure, perhaps Redis is just not a requirement of the application. So I don't want to introduce a background worker that would then require Redis. Instead, I really just needed to process background jobs. And I also don't want to complicate my application with too many gems. So all of the features that's included with Good Job will be able to handle a lot of these issues right out of the box. However, in situations where performance is a high priority, then I probably would use something like Sidekick. But for anything else, for small hobby projects, or projects that are pretty constrained on resources, then I probably would look at Good Job to handle my background workers. And another thing that I really like about the Good Job gem is that anything that you really need to know about the gem's functionality can be found on the README. That includes any kind of features or configuration settings, along with a lot of different examples and setup tutorials. So in this episode, we're going to look at adding in Good Job into our existing Rails 7 application. We'll create a few different background jobs, and we'll also create some recurring jobs that will recur on an interval basis. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.